Hey everyone, it's Viv playing Love Nikki, and today I'm going to show you how to earn diamonds in game. A lot of you have asked me how do I always have so many diamonds, and the reason is I work and make some extra cash on the side. Always happy to support a game I enjoy playing so much, so I throw in a couple of dollars here and there. But the secret to having so much diamonds is saving it and taking advantage of every little thing that gives diamonds. Now before I jump in, I just want to note that I'm not teaching you how to hack. Hacking is bad and will get you viruses and banned in a heartbeat, so don't hack. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to start off with my daily quest. You get 53 diamonds for reaching full activity for the day, and you can do it by just completing your daily rituals. I recommend you always complete this every single day. If you don't have time, it really just takes a couple of minutes, especially with autocomplete quests. Anyway, I want to point you towards the monthly card here. This costs $5 to get in the recharge list and you get 60 diamonds every day for 30 days and this isn't even counting the base amount you get. The amount you'll get for one month is 1800 diamonds. That's even more than the $20 pack without the 2x. The monthly pack is something I highly recommend if you have money to spend on this game. If you don't, that's okay. You can still succeed in the game but you'll have to work harder. So my goal is to just complete all of my daily quests and I'll show you extra bonus places you can get diamonds too. I'm going to start off questing and my goal for this stage is to lose intentionally. I'm going to do it on Maiden Stage 1-1 because I don't want to be wasting extra stamina doing this on a Princess Stage. So I know the 5 attributes for this stage, simple, lively, cute, pure, and cool, which means my brocade jade, which is gorgeous, elegant, which you are sexy and warm, has all the opposite attributes and will get me my loss on this stage. Losing isn't bad because there's an achievement for getting Fs and when you get an A grade or lower, it'll bring you to the Ask for Help page in which you'll get to share for 2 diamonds and 500 gold. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and this is gonna be funny. Zero. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> zero. Yeah, give me all the zeros. I'm gonna get zero points on the stage because I've chosen all of the opposite attributes. <laughs> and pure. Yeah. Tragic. <laughs> okay, so I got my F there. So that counts towards my failure achievement. <laughs> and I will also get to this page right here. You see that? Help. Share that for two diamonds. So I'm gonna do that. And after you share that, you also get to continue sharing for gold. So it's a hundred gold each, and you get to do this five times. So this is number two, number three, number four, and one last thing, number five. As you can see, I'm not actually sharing this, I'm just tapping share, and that does the job. Okay, cool. And that's how I got 2 diamonds and 500 gold. Enough with losing. Next, I want to go to the winners page. So I am working on my star C set and I'm just gonna choose a stage from here. I'm gonna do a little red riding hood. And I'm gonna do stage 1-9 and I'm gonna enter. So I'm just gonna select my last suit and get dressed. So my point is to go to the winnings, winners page right here so I would get 2 diamonds and 500 gold too. So let's do that. Okay, 164k. Alright, and here is the winner page right there. Share for 2 diamonds. So share to wall. And after you do that, there's the 100 gold per share too. So you get to do that 5 times. That's my 2nd time, 3rd time, 4th time, and 5th time. Nice, so that's an additional 
two diamonds and 500 gold. Okay, so next up, I just wanna done to since I already been to the winners page and the losers page, I can just auto complete everything. And I'm gonna do the additional attempts here. If you are V8 or higher, you get one additional attempt for a princess stage. If you are not V8 or higher, I do not recommend doing this because that's spending diamond and that's kind of counterintuitive. Yes, it does speed up your progress if you're working on building a set, but then, you know, you also want to save up diamonds for the next hell event. So I'm gonna do that, do my free attempt, and yeah. Otherwise, I would not recommend it. <laughs> Anyway, up next is the Stylist Arena. The Stylist Arena has two daily achievements. One is to win three rounds and two is to complete five rounds, win or lose. But first, I want to direct you to the rankings on the top right corner. And at the bottom, there is a share option for two star coins. Be sure to do this daily because you will need a lot of these in the long run. So, okay, next I'm gonna do the PvP. I recommend writing your score down in a notepad so that you don't end up going against an opponent with a higher score and losing. If you win, you get 5 star coins, so obviously that's better than losing because you would only get 3 star coins. So here I'm on the victory page and there are some share options right here and oh look share for 5 diamonds nice take advantage of all these shares <laughs> okay and then there's gonna be another one which will be right okay hold on let's finish this animation right there so share that for three star coins nice and then i'm going to continue with my remaining four rounds so up next is summer story i know i got a good score here before so i'm just gonna do finish asap i don't need to go to the winners page anymore so yeah i can just finish asap to speed things up but if i'm not sure of the score like my opponent had a high score this time i want to make sure that i have the correct outfit on and yeah i looks like i do so i'm just going to skip so yeah i only would go in if i'm not sure if i had the correct outfit on or not <laughs> The reason is because I play on multiple devices and sometimes it doesn't save my last score. Like earlier, you only saw best scores but no last score. So that was something I was worried about but all is good. Okay, so up next, Summer Story. Alright, I just did that. <laughs> I'm gonna finish ASAP for this just to speed things up and nice you know i heard that if you're going for top 10 in the stylist arena you have to intentionally lose some rounds oh my gosh i heard that you have to be at least v9 to even think about getting top 10 though and it's gonna be a stressful as heck week which will require tons of refreshing and yeah i am not at that point of my life yet though but if I do get there, I'll be sure to share that with you. <laughs> okay, so I just finished my fifth stage right here. And yeah, that is all my achievements for the Stylist Arena. And Okay, let's get out of here as soon as this animation completes. Du -du -du. Excellent. Up next, I'm gonna bring you over to the stylist competition. My favorite. <laughs> so I'm gonna go to judge and if you've watched my previous videos, you know I've saved a ton of rewards. I have over 9,999 rewards at the moment waiting to splurge them when a hell event comes. The reason I'm saving them is because there's no event going on currently. I don't need any bonus diamonds or stamina for any reason right now. But when another stamina event comes, you can expect me to tap into my competition rewards for help. You know, in the beginning, it was so hard for me to resist using my rewards immediately. It was after my first hell event, the Haunted Knight, that I realized I 
really needed any kind of bonus stamina I could get. During the Hunter Knight event, I spent thousands of diamonds on stamina and it was difficult to watch. I really wish there was another way to help alleviate my diamond spending and for that reason, I began to save thousands and thousands of rewards from the competition so that I would be more prepared when another hell event comes. Now I have over 10k. I don't know how much I have exactly. As you see here, I have 9,999 and the amount isn't going up. But I assure you, the points continue to increase after this. It is just a weird visual bug, but I do in fact have over 10k rewards. The number of likes you can give replenishes to full every 90 minutes, so I do try to come back every 90 minutes, but it's hard, you know? We're all human, we have work, school, and other obligations, and it's impossible to be on every 90 minutes, so I do try to come back whenever I can though to keep the cooldown running. Okay, that's my final like for right now and I'm gonna show you some of the rewards I can get here So I'm tapping the little present box next to the word times at the way bottom. I know it's hard to see and I'm getting crystal roses Diamonds gold and hoping to get some stamina, but it doesn't look like I'm getting it at all As you notice here my reward count is not going down because I have way over 10k rewards But if I do keep tapping and it goes under 10k then my reward count will go down So yeah, it looks like I did not get any stamina <laughs> Okay, before I go I'm gonna go to change and at the way bottom There is a share option for two diamonds be sure to to do the share every single day. It may not seem like a lot, but trust me, it adds up. Up next, I'm gonna bring you over to the Starry Corridor. Starry Corridor is our newest feature. It's a place where players can show off their outfits and do group photos with everyone. So what I'm gonna do here is, like the stylist competition, I'm going to like the photos here. So I'm just tapping next and commenting beautiful, lovable, or creative on all of them. And for this one, you can't really save rewards, so I would just do it whenever. See, right there, I got two honor points. And it auto-collects the rewards for you, that's why you can't save. So, yeah, I'm just gonna finish judging everyone. Although you can't save here, it's still worth doing because you do still get stamina, diamond, and gold here. And there you go, some diamonds. And you know, every little bit is worth it, which is why I take time to do this whenever it's available. The cooldown here is a little longer. You get one like every five minutes, so that's three hours, I think. So I would try to do this every three hours okay so that's my final like for the day another plus is i love seeing everyone's creations here <laughs> okay up next i'm gonna go to the recipe workshop and i'm gonna do design craft you get three achievements here one is for design crafting another is for dying and another is for decomposing three items so i'm working on a mechanical heart set and it looks like i can dye this shoe so i'm gonna do that and complete my dying achievement oh look and i can share at the bottom whenever you see a share reward pop up do it it's worth it so yeah, there is the shoe and I still need to complete holy note. Ugh. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this princess quest right here. Uh I should have saved up earlier. <laughs> anyway, okay, I still need to craft something and I know I have something here. Okay. I'm gonna do the elf long hair. And I'm just gonna buy the remainder of the set and craft and there you have it that's the dieting achievement complete and the crafting achievement complete but before I get out of here I want to decompose too so you just need to decompose any three items I recommend decomposing items that don't have 
the evolvable customizable or material icon at the bottom right corner so these three all pass so I just decomposed those and yeah that's a really easy achievement right there <laughs> up next I'm gonna go to oh my gosh I haven't done my sign in yet so sign in as you can see here if I scroll up you get a total of 400 diamonds per month so be sure to do this every single day I don't recommend spending diamonds for an extra attempt though because you know the point is to save diamonds so I don't want to spend diamonds anywhere up next I'm going to mystery house Ooh, and you have to be very careful here because there's no safety net if you accidentally tap something you're not supposed to that's goodbye diamond so I only go to the mystery house whenever there's an exclamation mark which means there's a free attempt so I'm gonna do my free attempt over here and that's a duplicate next free attempt would be over at the pavilion of mystery and you get two free here for a day so that sock is a duplicate and oh I smell another duplicate yeah <laughs> so the achievement is 4 gacha attempts per day and as you can see my Porch of Misty and Corridor of Clock currently has a cooldown running so I'm just going to go back to the Pavilion of Mystery and do buy one because that's the cheapest one so I'm gonna do that and uh oh <laughs> looks like no luck today in a mystery house so yeah i am done with the mystery house and i won't go here for the remainder of the day because like i said earlier it's dangerous you don't want to accidentally tap something you're not supposed to up next i'm gonna go to the stylist arena and the achievement here is in the library all you have to do is sort three times and yeah that is a very easy achievement complete up next I'm just gonna contribute to my guild because I want to get as much association coins as possible to buy dice and I will show you that later but first let me collect my rewards for today awesome and there is more rewards you get bonus rewards for getting top four so if you can get a higher score as possible and get that top four for the bonus association coins okay up next I am going to go back to the shop right here so as a V8 I get three free refreshes per day so I'm definitely taking advantage of that the achievement here is to buy any two items I think so I'm gonna refresh and every day I buy the dyes from the association shop it's because um, in the stylus arena shop I want to save that to buy recipes instead which is why I buy dyes here I'm not really interested in any of the items here I guess the items here aren't mandatory but dyes are mandatory and in the stylus arena the recipes are mandatory which is why I buy dyes here okay next up free dressing there's a free share at the bottom for two diamonds take advantage of that and yeah that is a easy two diamonds cool and up next I want to go to friends too because there's an additional share you can do if you tap search friends just tap done <laughs> that's 500 gold right there easy money and if you go back the 500 gold is gone and confirm that you actually got the gold nice so yeah looks like I'm done here I'm gonna go back to my daily quest and collect all my achievements so let's get to it as you can see I'm collecting activity completion for these achievements and my activity bar on top is increasing and this is what will give me my 53 free daily diamonds so I started off in the beginning of the video with 16,308 diamonds so I'm gonna collect everything here and let's see what I end up with so let's do the collecting spree I'm gonna do my monthly card that's an additional 60 and then let's do everything on top right now so 10 10 10 11 
and 12. Okay, so my total ends up to be 16,446 diamonds. I'm gonna subtract that by what I started out with in the beginning of the day and that's 138 free diamonds a day. Now you're probably gonna tell me, Viv, that's so little, you can't even get an event sock with that amount. Well, this amount doesn't seem like a lot, but trust me, it adds up. If you multiply this amount by 30, that's 4,140 diamonds a month and this doesn't even include competition rewards, achievements, arena rewards, and any other extra diamonds you may get. Like, check out how many achievement diamonds I have on hold. Now, a couple of you have noticed me doing this and asked why I don't collect my achievements. The reason is because I don't get achievements every day and this is to ensure that I will have an achievement for my daily quest every single day. So, there I go. Didn't do a single achievement today and I finished this daily quest. I recommend you do this too to ensure that you get the 300 gold. <laughs> okay, so I'm pretty much done here. Remember the amount of diamonds you have depends on how much you can save. So try to stay away from the gacha unless there are free attempts available. Stay away from the shop too unless there's an item you really really like and can't live without. And try not to buy additional princess attempts, association attempts, or stylist arena attempts. Unless you're going for top 20. If you're going for top 20 then buy all the attempts you can. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah, things can't wait another day. Anyway, I hope this was helpful. Good luck saving diamonds and stamina for the next couple of events. Thanks for watching and remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye! Oh! Yay! More diamonds! Haha! -ha, I'm rich! <laughs> Alright, bye.